Hello once again. Khalil Esverali here at Washington, D.C. Table Tennis Center, which is located at 6403 Chillum Place Northwest here in Washington, D.C. And we are here for all of your table tennis needs. Oh. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about equipment and rubber in specific. Uh, a lot of people, they have questions about why is it that the Chinese players all use Hurricane on the forehand and usually, well in the past they always used some kind of Japanese rubber on the backhand or European rubber on the backhand. Mostly, mostly butterfly, they would use butterfly rubber on the backhand and Chinese, uh, the Hurricane on the forehand. So first of all, uh, we'll talk about the characteristics of each rubber. So the double happiness, the Hurricane, Chinese call it Guangbiu. It's stickier and harder. The sponge is very dense and hard, so it gives you more of a thrust when you loop. It's very good also because of the spinning taki top sheet. When you first get it, you can put the ball on the, on the rubber and pick it up and it'll stay on the, on the rubber surface. Uh, it's very sticky, so it's very good for serve. A lot of spin on the serve, very good for serve return. You can control the ball a lot better. And also for the first loop, it's very good for a good strong first loop. You can really go into the ball. Uh, I really like it against underspin because when I get quick underspin, I can hit through the underspin. I don't have to lift it as much. I can hit directly through it so you get a lower or lower ball. Also, it's, uh, it's, it's really good for variation if you've used it for a long time. I've used it since 2007 when I went to China. Uh, and they suggested that I switch to it on my forehand. It changed my forehand completely, so my forehand became a lot stronger. Now I can give a lot of slow, heavy top spins, but also I can give dead balls where it just kind of goes over because if you engage the top sheet, you can get that really nice spinny ball. But because the sponge is so dense also, if you don't engage the top sheet and you just lift, you can get a nice dead ball and a lot of times they'll block it into the net. But it, it requires a little bit more work. So you have to actually put your body into it and you have to hit the ball precisely every time. If your wrist is a little bit off, the ball tends to drop. It's, it's a little bit more difficult. You have to hit through and into the ball a little bit more. On the lower end, the Japanese rubber or German rubber, the, what they call like tensor sponge or like any kind of sponge that gives you a trampoline effect where the ball goes in and then jumps off. Uh, it, it's easier on the on the lower end. So at lower speeds, you put less effort and you get more for it. So you get more bang for your buck on the lower speeds. But it's harder to engage at, at the higher speeds. It, it ends up topping off and plateauing because you're able to get a little bit more speed uh, when you put more effort with the Hurricane. Uh, against topspin balls, uh, I find the Japanese rubber to be very effective because it's, it's easy to keep the ball on the table, you have good control, good feeling, and it has that where it goes in and, 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 and that trampoline effect gives you a little bit more power. Uh, I personally like the Hurricane because I'm able to, to engage it more and use more power but you have to use your legs. So it, it all depends on what you would like personally. Uh, the Chinese players, because they're so, they've emphasized training and physical fitness and everything. So every time they hit the ball, it's, it's very precise and perfect. So they really like that rubber. And the European players, they use a little bit less, less body, a little bit more arm. So they like the ball, the, what, the rubber that gives them a little bit more, a little bit more throw for less effort. Now the Chinese players are using it on their backhand as well because once again they engage the ball very heavily. It's harder to block. It's not a blocking rubber, Hurricane. Um, when you try to block, the ball tends to go up a little bit, so that it's better to counter attack or give it a little spin at all times. Um, it's harder to to block because the ball tends to sit up a little bit. Yeah, it's, it all comes down to what you like. Okay, so hitting with the Hurricane, you have to go into the ball a little bit more. So when you're countering, you have to hit through a little bit more. And when you loop, you have to use your body a little bit more. With the Japanese rubber, it's a little, see it's a little bit more bounce outright. And you don't have to use your body as much. You can just you can just use your arm. So on the lower end, you get as much speed. Cool. So for, for the short ball, the hurricane is much better. 
because you're able to get a lot more spin because the ball doesn't shoot out as much and it's stickier so you can get a lot more a lot more cut with the rosena the ball has a little bit more arc it tends to go up a little bit more at first and you don't you don't get that stickiness so it tends to go out long if you try to, to stick it. And if you just touch it, you don't get much spin. Hurricane, what, what I like is that you can hit through. You can hit through spin. More under spin. So even if it's heavy under spin, you can hit through very easily. Very, very easy to just hit through the ball. With the Rosena, you have to give it a little bit more, more arc. When you try to go through, it, it, tends, it tends to hit the top of the net or go up. So with the Rosena, you have to use more arm and like a little bit of a slower stroke. It has more dwell time, yeah. Now on backhand, it's a little bit better to have the Japanese rubber because it gives you that that arc, especially for for blocking. Okay, loose one. See, it's it's a lot a lot easier to block with the Rosena. The hurricane, the block is very slow with the hurricane and the ball, the ball sits up a little bit too much. Hurricane is more for, more for looping, engaging. That's why I like, I like to play with Japanese rubber on the backhand because it just gives you a little bit more throw. Okay, just to recap. Double Happiness Hurricane is a little bit stickier with the denser, harder sponge. So it's better for serve because you get that stickiness to serve. First ball return, the pushes, and first loop. In the point, the Japanese sponge, because it has that little bit more bounce, it's a little bit quicker and more forgiving and easier to, go, to use during the point. So it all depends on what kind of style you have. If you have more of a like all-round rally game, it's definitely better to use more of a Japanese sponge or a, or a European sponge because it's a little bit more forgiving and you get more dwell time so it keeps the ball on the table a little bit more. The Hurricane, if you are more of a strong attacker with the forehand and uh, with good serve, good return, you want to use try, try the Hurricane because you're able to get a little bit more out of it for your with, when you use a little bit more effort with good technique. But always remember that the Hurricane, it takes a little bit more training. So unless you have the time to dedicate to practicing a little bit more, you would want something a little bit more forgiving and easier to use. So once again, Khalil Asgarali here at Washington DC Table Tennis Center at 6403 Chillin Place Northwest. Click like, subscribe, and follow the link below. And if you ever are in the DC area and you'd like a lesson or you'd just like to come and check out our Table Tennis Center, all our information is at wdctt.com. Thank you.